And I recently requested from the Department of Revenue information regarding whether or not there were any and all any members of the General Assembly who have either failed to file tax returns or currently owe the Department of uh, currently owe the state back taxes and penalties. <clears throat> the department reported in a letter that its records show no filing at all for 12 members of the House for one or more years between 1999 and 2007. The Department of Revenue further stated that based upon income sources and income amounts documented by the Department's existing files, 11 of the 12 House members are presumed to have a duty to file. The Department further reported that for the tax years 1999 to 2007, three members of the House, and I quote, owe a combined total of $21,044 in unpaid individual income taxes. Today I'm filing three bills that prohibits anyone who has either failed to file an income tax return or failed to pay their income taxes liability in full from holding office in either the House or in the Senate, or for that matter, serving in any other elected office in the state, or serving as a gubernatorial appointment. South Carolina deserves and has a right to expect that their elected officials not only follow the law, but stand above reproach in their financial dealings. The idea that any member of the General Assembly would hold the laws of this state in so little regard that they simply ignore them when they find them inconvenient truly offends me. 